Oh my gosh, did you see Oprah's speech? Oh my gosh, I'm still a tingle. I, I it was, oh my gosh, I hope she runs. That's all you're hearing in the media now. Oh my gosh, did you see her speech? It was so powerful. So powerful. Yes, she made movies with Harvey Feinstein, and she kind of was his wingman at parties and stuff, but she, no, she means it now. Uh-huh. Some people called her speech on sexual assault victims empowering. One did not. British actress Caden Noble, she said it was hypocritical. She claims that Harvey Weinstein used his relationship with Oprah to seduce young actresses like her. The actress said Weinstein would cavort around parties with Oprah by his side, duping young women into thinking that he was charming and a safe person to be around. He used Oprah to make him look like a good guy. Now, to Oprah's defense here, she may have been unaware that she was being used as a wingman for Weinstein's sordid intentions, but I don't know. That kind of seems impossible to me. I mean, if I knew, I don't run around in those circles. If I knew the rumors, if I knew everything that they said about him, it wasn't like, uh, he's had a couple of things. It was everybody. It was everybody. Oprah has been friends with Weinstein for decades. She just co-produced The Butler with him a couple of years ago. She couldn't even bring herself to blame him personally at the Golden Globes. She said, if we make this just about Harvey, well, then we've lost this watershed moment. How can Oprah, who is a multiple rape survivor herself, how is she not utterly disgusted by Harvey Weinstein? How did she stand by him for so long because he's her friend just like bill clinton is oprah's friend during the golden globes juanita broderick tweeted hey oprah you didn't mention my story about bill clinton raping me and you've had bill on your show over and over and over again so how can somebody so passionately call for sexual abuse victims to have a voice silence them with her own actions and relationships if oprah decides to run in the future it's like ricky used to say to lucy you're going to have a lot of splaining to do there's an old proverb says if you want to know a man look at his friends if you want to know oprah uh, look at some of her friends you know we forget that oprah was a member of jeremiah wright's church I mean, she's, 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 she is out there. She had a big fall once people started to figure out who she was, once she wasn't packaged. Personally, I think that if it was a race between Donald Trump and Oprah Winfrey, you could just hold the election today. <laughs> yeah. Just hold it. Because there's no, I mean, what are you, you going to do? We, we need to hear a debate between these two? No. Nobody's going to change their mind. If you're for Oprah Winfrey and against Donald Trump, nothing's going to change your mind. And if you're for Donald Trump and against Oprah Winfrey, nothing's going to change your mind. <laughs> Nothing. So why? Let's just save all the time. Just, hey, these two are going to be on the ballot in November. Decide. And then just leave it at that. I, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. Save a lot of time, a lot of donations, oh a lot of gosh. annoying commercials. Yeah. I mean, it really would. Let's everyone. do something constructive with our time, you know? Instead of taking these two celebrities and watch which one can put on a better show. We have previews, kind of like what I think you would expect of what the commercials would be like. So, like, th this, I guess, would be Oprah's first commercial from Donald Trump in 1999. Here's what Donald said about Oprah. You have a vice presidential candidate in mind? Well, I really haven't gotten quite there yet. Uh, it's I about, guess it's just... You know, Oprah, I love Oprah. Oprah would always be my first choice. Oprah. Uh, Oprah, your competitor, right? Your ah, competitor. Oprah's she, competitor. You know what? No she's, I'll tell you, she's really a great woman, though. She is a terrific woman. She's, she's somebody that's very special. I have not even thought about it. I guess we'll see. We'll see. Maybe that's part of the whole process. Would she be some, I mean, kidding aside, that you might oh, think I mean, about? If she'd do it, she'd be fantastic. I mean, she's popular. She's brilliant. She's a wonderful woman. I mean, if she'd ever do it, I don't know that she'd ever do it. She's got, You'd ask you know, her. she'd be sort of like me. I mean, I have a lot of things going. She's got a lot of things going. What a ticket in terms that would be. Of, that would be a pretty good ticket, but she's a very exceptional woman. I guess that's, that's your, 
I mean, none of this Stop obviously it. makes any difference. I mean, it no, was a long time the, ago. And, yeah, this is the way he does to everybody. He, yeah, everybody he likes, he kind yeah. of compliments the same way. Yeah, and so, then when uh, when Oprah said one thing bad about him, he would be, she's a failure, right. she's on a, yeah. you know, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I mean that's it's, normal. Um, and then on the other side, I guess maybe Donald could play the, the clips of Oprah wishing white people would be dead. I mean, maybe that would be a... Oh boy, I haven't heard this. <laughs> it's a while ago, listen. As long as people can be judged by the, by the color of their skin, the problem's not solved. There are still generations of people, older people, who were born and bred and marinated in it, in that prejudice and racism, and they just have to die. <laughs> she says... No, I actually, think she's actually, saying, I think she's. I think right. she's right. She's in, saying in the way right. she means it. Yeah, the way she means it, I think, is that. Yeah, and she didn't say white people. She said people who were born, as long as we judge people by the color of their skin. Hmm. I'm sorry. Now, Oprah may not believe this, but racism is a human problem, not a white problem. How dare you? Yeah, I know. How I know. dare you? And you know, Only there, white people are capable there of There is it. something to be said with, you know, sometimes generations just have to pass before real change can, because they're just hanging on and they just won't let go. Yeah. They yeah. just won't let go. Um, it, I guess you could come up with the same justification for this clip from Oprah. It's kind of short, but uh, here it is. But my JJ is painting. Now I th- I don't know if that's exactly she would lead a commercial with with my talk about JJ is painting. is, is painting, and that, I I believe that means there's a uh, I don't. Uh, but my okay, is all right. See, it hurts, I don't need I think, to hear it is what pain in means. Um, and the vajayj, I'm not exactly sure what. The can tr- can the, we can we change the subject? Is that medical terminology or? But my is pain. Oh, okay, now we know. 